How long has this place been abandoned? It doesn't look long. What? After some further investigation. Fearsome. Top five. Number one. A man named Jake runs a TikTok account dedicated to his two-year-old friend named Yoda. And his page is filled with videos of Yoda being absolutely adorable. But Jake recently posted oh, this is awesome. out of the ordinary and completely unrelated to Yoda. According to Jake, his dad is a chiropractor in Wichita, Kansas. And late one night, the camera inside of his office managed to catch something incredibly chilling. Fuck was that? Immediately as the video begins, dozens of orbs can be seen floating through the room. But suddenly, a large white mass manifested into the room and quickly traveled down the hallway. Almost looked like a this dog. This anomaly drifted through the hall and went around the corner, going out of view. And if we freeze the video and zoom in, this unnerving orb almost looks like a face. Two dark eyes can clearly Yo. be seen. Making the resemblance to a face hard to deny. That's Casper the sussy ghost. To come up with a logical explanation for this. So what do you think? Number two. I don't know. Eleven years ago on a YouTube channel called Zombie660R, a video was posted of something incredibly done done. What was meant to be a fun video of a girl practicing her cup stacking skills turned into something unexplainable. With a friend recording, she began her routine. But these kids unknowingly caught something in the background. Cup stack. Cup stack. Faster. Oh. Yo, that doll move, bruh. While she quickly stacked the cups, a small doll in the background was caught moving. Uh -huh. This tiny doll eerily sat up and appeared to be staring directly Oh, at hell nah. None of these kids witnessed the doll moving, and it wasn't until later watching the video back... Yo, that that's a mini noticed. Chucky. Haunted or We're not, not about mini Chucky in this house. Nope. See her sweet cup stacking skills. Number three. Or fine Chucky. According to TikTok user Abel3E, a friend of his recorded a video of something he can only describe as paranormal. Around four in the morning, his friend felt the need to check what the, the hell? camera he has facing his backyard. And with a creepy abandoned house just across the fence, he's always gotten a weird feeling being back there. Well, as he watched the camera's live feed, he was shocked to oh, see this. Oh, fuck this. Oh, nah. What looks like a small ghostly child walked along the yep. fence on nope. the side of the abandoned house. This eerie white figure looks to be no more than three feet tall as it scurried from left nah. to right. Nah. 4 a.m. Not about it. The fence is abandoned, and the fact that this was recorded at 4 a.m. makes it very unlikely that this was an actual child walking around. Or bad parenting. If it's not, then who or what was possible in the dark? In the morning. That's a ghost. Number four. It's a ghost child. Back in September of 2019, a man named Carlos recorded a video of the beautiful scenery from a rooftop. He went on to post this video to Instagram, and it wasn't until comments started beautiful in that he noticed that something was off. People who watched the video began to point out that it looked like someone was on the roof with him. Yo, what? Nah, these ones sketch me out. Oh! As he panned the camera from right to left, a chilling face can be seen just a few yards away. Oh, but nah. The concrete structure, this ghostly face peered at Carlos, going completely unnoticed. This unsettling figure appears to have long black hair and extremely pale skin. Yo. Carlos obviously didn't notice this. Nope. That could be hoaxed. But nah. 
that sketchy. Figure while on the roof, but there's no denying that it noticed him. Oh, that's creepy. It's so creepy. Recently, we took a look at the terrifying situation the man behind the WinMC Picks TikTok account has found himself in. He's consistently documented the bone chilling That's that sketchy stare guy. That have made it very clear that something is haunting him. And on multiple occasions, he's even caught proof of a dark figure lingering in his home. Well, in his most recent video, things took a chilling turn. Bruh. Leave. Stop. Yo, what? You gotta go. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. What are you? Stop. Charlie, come on. Yo, the way the dog sketched out, though. I don't, I don't even know how to explain what I'm seeing. I feel like it's such a hoax. But how sketched out the dog is? Like, the dog ain't having it. Holy hell. He quickly went to investigate after hearing banging and immediately discovered a ghostly pair of hands smacking against his glass door. These pale hands continued to pound on the glass until completely vanishing as soon as he flipped on the light. It's, and as I, he bravely stepped outside accompanied by his dog, no one I don't think. know. But as he walked away, these hands reappeared. Well, the very next day in broad daylight, it was clear that this entity never left. No, this is crazy. Did you hear this last night? It was going last night. Now, did you? Yo, what? Charlie, come here. I guarantee it's going to keep on. It'll do it again. The exact same sound of these hands pounding on the glass can be heard. Making it chillingly obvious that even the daylight Dude, can't protect what? him from this dark force. But could this be genuine proof of a real I haunting, don't know. Or just a well-made hoax? Number six. It, it could be a very well-made hoax. Because all you gotta do is add in an audio file to your video. It's literally the simplest thing you could do in editing. is literally just throw in a banging audio. The hand... <laughs> thing is weird could be green screened you know just chroma keyed out I, I don't know his videos are so they're so blatantly obvious like it's weird it's just something about it's not right throughout history countless tragedies have taken place inside of mines one of the most dangerous jobs to work inevitably led to numerous horrific deaths Below the Earth's surface, surrounded by darkness, these miners never knew what they would come across. Well, the guys from the Twin Paranormal YouTube channel Twin Paranormal. set out to investigate the infamous Collar Mine. Located in Virginia City, Nevada, the Collar Mine is possibly the most haunted mine in the world. This will probably be a longer in clip. Year period, miners carted out about $17 million in gold and silver. But that $17 million? Along the way. Yo, what? Wyatt and their tour guide Bill made their way Bail. inside the mine and immediately discovered that they weren't alone. All right, guys, we are here at the Collar Mine, and uh, tonight's definitely going to be quite interesting. If you'd like to introduce yourself real quick. I'm Bill Finley. I'm the tour guide here at the mine. So, yeah, we're going to do some of the investigation with Bill and get 30 minutes to ourselves there in the mine as Damn. well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what goes on. So let's... Get into the mine. Yo, those dermals scare me. I, I would I never get a dermal done. Who would like to maybe have a conversation? We're going to be here for a while. So please. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, that object right yo. There holding on to or near maybe i can explain it a said what does this do if you can walk up to this metal rod right here i'll demonstrate it all you have to do is just get close to it and then it'll show us that you are here i'm going to stand back give you some space maybe you can go walk up to that and show us that you are here and can hear us
Was that an orb or just dust? Thank you. You don't have the heat, heat I don't, on, right? I don't know. I might. But if it was the heat, it'd continue to go off. Can you please hold on to that again? One more time. Oh, so there's a heat sensor to it. You. Thank you. Yo. What? That's not the heat. No, it can't be. Doesn't it make a different noise? Pretty sure Dude. With activity already starting, Ryan decided to get even more paranormal devices involved. Interesting the REM pod has a heat setting. I didn't know that. Okay, I've got this object, this other object. These ones detect your energy. What this one does is it will detect motion. So I'm going to turn it on. This is going to calibrate real quick. After that, I'm going to demonstrate. What's up with that, dude? It has nothing to do with us. Calibrating. So I'm going to walk in front of it. I'm demonstrating what you can do here. So if you walk just like this, it'll start to make music like that. So please feel free if you walk right. Hey, yo. Did you just do it? Can you please walk in front of that? Ghost about to start doing the polka. Went off once. Head. Head. I demonstrated. And then it went once. Yo. I don't. That's not you, is it? That tour guy is seeming a little no, sus to me. I don't know what's going on okay. with this dude. Drop a comment if you think that guy's acting a little weird. A little sussy. Really? I'm trying to... Whoa! That was a full one. Whoa, holy... Shit. Holy crap. I'm gonna set that down. That was a huge burst. That was a good one. Wait, that was the EMF and the REM pod? Boom. Thank you so much. That's not even like near you. So that can't be you. What, wave your arm real quick. There you go. Did you walk in front of that? I'm trying he to He was make a little sure closer though. Nothing to do with Wyatt. So if you can show us one more time. Nothing to do with him, but like. Go off, I'm just trying to make sure it wasn't him. He is a good there distance goes. away. I hear you. Thank you so much. Do you guys think that, like, when we ask the question, it, it doesn't get to them right right away? I, I don't know. I mean... Well, I asked. I said, hey, can you stand in front of that one more time? They finally do it, and then they say, I hear you. That's interesting. Still going. With several devices going off at once, it became... I like the fact that, that they're using, like, a bunch of stuff at once. And after Not just, like, individual. Trying to get, like, a correlation. Music box, REM pod going off, EMF. You guys think maybe I can try and set the music box facing that way? I wonder if that would work. Like, like down a little bit more. I'm gonna give it a shot. I respect you. I respect you. Yo, what? Okay, I moved it over here. So if there's anybody who'd like to approach us, come this way. That's gonna let us know that you're coming. I just, I just witnessed footsteps. It sounded like lad. Like that. I don't know if somebody's coming, so. Whoa, we just got the word lad. Like English people? Oh, uh, yeah. You know how they say lad? Mm -hmm. they huh. Say, I respect you, lad. All right, a lot of the miners that were up here were from uh, Cornwall, England. No way! Whoa! Oh my god. You're bro. kidding! <laughs> That's so cool. Did you just hit that? No, I did. Hit the Rampage Trippin'. I knew it was going to be a longer clip. Music box, music box. <laughs> And the music box. This is, weird, bro. this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and set this REM pod over there. See if we can maybe get somebody to walk by it as well to kind of give us more of a confirmation that somebody is. Interesting. That's somebody walking. I mean, <laughs> if it's something interfering with it, it continuously go off. Yeah. That's the thing. Like walking right past it. Yo. I'm coming this way. If that's okay. Speak. Speak. Many deaths. Many deaths. Yeah. Oh that is confirmation. God, sure. Not too long ago. I don't know exactly how long ago. There were a couple people over here. I can't tell that dude's just like wigging out or like what the fuck's going on with him. One of them had gotten so scared 
and started crying and they had to leave. Any of you know who that might have been? Who did that? Who caused that? Whoa. Oh, what the, the shit out of fuck? Twin moment? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. Full on twin I was moment. About 10 feet away from that Dude. thing. Well, after turning out the lights and going into complete darkness in the mine, that's wild. Something seemed to have gotten stirred up. You know, it'd be awesome if we should be super quiet for a second and ring the bell and see what happens. Maybe Yo, nah. The, the people below. Is that going dark? Yeah. Could you? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Anybody here with us working? Candles. Candles. Oh, cause it's dark. There's yes. one on the wall right there. Can you not see? Oh shit! You turn the light on. I just, just had my light lights out, guys. <laughs> you want me to light the candle? Yes. Oh. They give you some light here. It's not. Oh my god! It's not oh, super wait. creepy. Look at that EMF meter. But it's fucking wait, wild. As soon as he lit them. Oh my god! That's what you wanted, huh? Yo. It's work time. You need to see. We apologize for that. Sit. Sit. Can oh, I shit. Point something out? The chirping over there, the music box. That's all done, right? It's all, it's all, it's they're not on. mocking there anymore. Yeah, it's still on. Everything's still on over huh. there. Huh. Why now? I don't know. Maybe I, I might have screwed that up by walking close to them. But then again, like, you know, Whoa! What the f what what the fuck what I, think I just caught something behind me. A noise? No, a shadow moving. Ooh. Did I do that? Did I just do that? Please tell me I did that. What made that shadow? Yo. Oh, I might be freaking out for nothing, guys, but I It was fast too. Know. It was like a quick motion. I caught something behind me. It didn't make a shadow on my face. I don't know 100%. While filming himself, Ryan caught a small dark shadow moving directly behind him. This chilling black mass quickly flew up. Yeah, because he had his hand on his face, so it was like. Despite trying to recreate what he captured by moving around and attempting to cast shadows, nothing came close to this anomaly. As the investigation was coming, they could obviously like swing something to his side, but like he said, there was no shadow on him. It was it was like actually behind him. Which is kind of nuts. To a close, they gave any nearby spirits one more chance to communicate. We're just trying to give you the option, the chance, to say everything you can before we go. Man, they're very twin. Because you probably don't get this a lot. You get this opportunity here to show us that you are with us. So, if you can complete the circuit in this flashlight, in this torch, by turning it on, that'll show us you are here. What the f***? the shit out of me, lights out. I'm not connected at all, I can't see anything. You what? Hey! Thank you so much! Lights went out. Don't be fearful. Don't be fearful. We're not scared. Thank you so much. We're not scared. I did panic a little bit. I did Thank panic so a little bit. Please turn it off. Just how you turned it on is the exact same. You're just turning it off. Prepare. Prepare for what? Yo, what? Guest. Here for guest. Here for guest. Oh fuck. Are you expecting somebody? Or they're telling their workers about us. You were holding on to that flashlight. You started to turn it off. And this is a wild off. one. Maybe if you can hear me. If you have the energy, can you turn that off? Please. The flashlight was completely on. No. no. flashlight was completely on, not flickering whatsoever. And I wonder if it doesn't want to turn it off. Turn it off. Now it's back on. They might be trying. I, I see what you're doing. You can turn it off. Yo. Oh my gosh, so close. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. You're doing so good. Whoever this is, you... Need help. <gasps> They're struggling. Look, they stopped touching it. 
From a spirit turning a flashlight on to a message saying, don't be fearful. Dude. It looks like the miners that lost their lives were... In I don't know how all the equipment works, but it's kind of crazy if there's no, like, input method that you could do that to. Like, it's all random. I almost want to look up this equipment and see what, like... If you can, like, remotely do stuff. Because if not, that's insane. Indeed, communicating with the investigators. Number seven. Number seven. A man named Corbin from the Irish Blood 101 TikTok account is okay. a handyman man that doesn't post very often. Back in 2021, he was called in to find the source of a leak in an urgent care building that had been left abandoned. Oh, damn. And despite no one entering this building in weeks, as Corbin made his way through the halls. Ah, you never know. Be alone. All right, I'm working in a old urgent care that just got shut down. It got shut down uh, before the freeze here in Texas. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not sure why it closed down, but... It's pretty spooky. I'm supposed to be looking for a leak in here. This bathroom. Yo, you Freaking never know. Hallway. Real spooky place. Only because it's been a couple weeks. Another bathroom. You what? Uh, this is a second, uh, two-story building. Oh, I got chills. This used to be the elevator shaft right here. I guess we're taking the stairs. Yo, they cleared it out pretty quick. How the hell do you even take an elevator out? Meditation class used to be upstairs. Had to put your shoes in this little cubby. Yo, what? How long has this place been abandoned? It doesn't look long. What? After some further investigation. The fuck was that? There's no one else in this building. I've heard someone go down those stairs, though. So, I guess this was the meditation room. There's a lot of natural lighting in here. I don't, probably don't need the flashlight right now. Here's the top of the elevator shaft. You can't Somebody be down there. See anything down there? Dead. So here's a meditation room. Kind of looks like the no. back rooms. No, nah, there's no way I'm out. It looks very culty. Yeah, if I'm supposed to be by myself. The stage up here looks like I hear footsteps. Altars next to him. Creepy. Nope. Okay, now I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yo, fuck up all that. that. As he turned to take a look inside of a bathroom. An eerie disembodied voice can be heard saying, I see you. Another bathroom. Yo. Another bathroom. Corbin didn't notice this bone chilling voice at the time and continued making his way through the empty building. But as he approached a staircase, the disembodied sound of footsteps came rushing towards him. I'm he out. He made his way upstairs where a loud bang nope. came from a room nearby. And nope. This was the final straw for Corbin as he quickly got out of there. Number eight. Yeah, no way. I'm out. On a TikTok account called the Hall Family. Hall Family, oh. was posted that left many viewers scratching their heads. Late one night, around three in the morning, the ring camera in this family's backyard managed to catch something bizarre. Oh, remember this one. Straight up edited. Yo, what? Nah, it's fake as fuck. We talked about that On last time. The screen, a misty ghost-like form seems to push the hammock before gliding across the yard. This oddly shaped smoky mass. The last time we saw this clip, it didn't have audio though. Disappearing behind the Not that audio. And things managed to get even creepier when a disembodied voice can be heard saying, "We're here." The That's the kids. Account has no idea who this voice belongs to, as there definitely should not have been anyone in nah. the backyard at 3 a.m. So was this a ghost, or did a neighbor just rip a fat vape cloud? <laughs> Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy.
As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Oh, I got like it this. right there. Check out Pearson Top 5, new channel we've been checking out lately. Drop a like, drop a comment. Tell me which one was the creepiest for you. I, there wasn't too many that were like really creepy to me in this one. I, the last uh, urgent care one was freaky. People running downstairs, shit like that. Not about it. But like I said, drop a like, drop a comment which one was your favorite. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Notification bell will tell you when I go live or drop new content. Uh, until next time, see y'all.